Hi everyone, welcome back once again. And uh, it's a very quick top. You can see this top, stylish gather top, uh, within one hour. Uh, trust me, it won't take more than that. And I was inspired by my old t uh, t shirt, uh, old top, which um, I used to wear when I used to fit in. And uh, this leftover fabric, which I used in my previous project. And uh, I will be making in two pieces there are two different ways you can sew this it's a one piece either you can sew in one piece or two piece so because I wanted to combine the hot pink color since it's for my daughter and I wanted to add some more solid color into it so that's why I will be using the uh, hot pink color and uh, I'll be taking a part of my t-shirts and uh, this uh, net fabric I cut from the bottom and I will be using at the bottom of my daughter's dress and you can f uh, do, do more fitting or you can keep it loose it's entirely up to you how you want uh, to look at how you want to give a look at the bottom all right so I will be adding four inches uh, of length using that net the hot pink net and um, uh, basically I use the old shirt of my daughter and uh, adding length in it so uh, the key here is to keep as much as fabric as you can and uh, since it was my first attempt so I tried uh, what when I finished everything I finished it uh, with the hand sew and then uh, I tried it on my daughter and did the final fittings later on. So first I mark for the regular uh, neckline. Then I will be adding more uh, length. About four, uh, 4 inches of length and a half an inch for seam allowance. And keep as much as gather, uh, sorry, as much as fabric as you can doesn't matter if you're sewing for one piece or two piece because the beauty is it uh, came out when the gathers uh, are loose and they're not tied around the chest armhole area chest area and waistline area all right so uh, after adding four and a half inch for the length i added uh, the width of the neckline here is four and a half inches again After that, cut the front and the back panel uh, using the same measurements because we will be giving gatherers at the back as well. Make sure your fabric is, is cut straight and doesn't have any uh, cutting marks or anything like that because uh, it you will end up cutting it anyways so I was telling you to keep as much as fabric as you can and a uh, same thing with uh, the sleeve fabric the more fabric you have the more beautiful gather it will come out and uh, There are two different methods of cutting this top, but uh, this is the one method I'm showing you. In my next video, I'll show you the other one. I'll cut the neckline and uh, then I'll start sewing. Alright, to make the gathers, I uh, sew the longest stitch on my sewing machine and lose the tension. And start gathering by pulling the thread around the neck area and the bottom of the top area in my previous video I demonstrated you how um, I do the stitching for the gathers so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check the description box.
make sure you have your measurements uh, for the bottom I'm using uh, my net as a reference after that I pull apart all my t-shirt and I will be uh, stitching the sleeves so uh, I thought these sleeves uh, measurements were enough but I ended up adding the side panels um, on my uh, sleeves area because the gathers were not right and I used the measurements from the old t-shirt after that just sew the shoulder and uh, then we'll attach the sleeves here is the key of cutting the armhole area I wasn't able to film that part uh, accidentally so I'm sorry for that so uh, whatever is your regular uh, measurements or uh, for the armhole I didn't take that I took three inches extra cutting measurements so uh, it won't be tight around the chest area but since it there are a lot of ruching or uh, there is a lot of uh, gathering going on around the neckline from the front and back as well after that when I am finished with the paneling and everything uh, I stitch at this point what you have to do is um, sew by hand or make the uh, rough stitch and then put it on your uh, self if you're stitching for yourself or uh, put it on your daughter whoever you're stitching for and make sure that the measurements are fine if not then you have to add extra piece of fabric uh, uh, on the sides and after that I joined everything and put, uh, put my fabric inside out And then I will be attaching this net as you can see the pop of color looks really really nice and uh, I will be starting from the side seams first and then middle uh, sorry middle part of my net and dress and then I will move on because uh, the net is a little stretchy and the gathers I don't want them to move after that uh, make take the measurements of uh, whatever you came up uh, with the neckline and then we'll cut the strip according to the neckline so take the round measurement and uh, if you have stretchy material then make sure it's one inches uh, shorter than the regular neckline if not then take the exact measurements and uh, take half an inch extra for sewing from the middle mark four uh, points and start joining from the side seams and then middle seams and then work all the way around and then sew it together I took 4 inch extra wide strip and the length of the strip was according to my measurements of the neckline and then I fold it in half the reason why I took extra pieces is because uh, I wanted my uh, gatherings to hold really nicely because kids pull their clothes and uh, they play and they you know so um, I just did double stitching fold folded once and then folded one more time and the same thing I did for the wrist 
take the uh, measurements and then cut according to the measurement and then sew it sew the wristband and make a top stitch for uh, firm stitching And that's basically it. And the final result is here. It's really nice as you can see the gathers are loose. It lo they look really really nice. And the pop of color is on the spot. And if you, I haven't explained you anything clearly, please do let me know. And if you make anything similar to this, make sure you use hashtag Stylo Blender. Check the description box. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for my future project. Take care, you all. Bye now.